Landscape photography is very popular within the virtual photography community. Not only because they capture the true beauty of a gaming world, they can be done whether you've never used photo mode before or you've been using it for years. In this video I'm going to share some tips with you on how I take landscape shots within Horizon Zero Dawn. Remember to leave the video a like to show your support and let's get started. The first thing I do when taking landscapes is get myself somewhere high and pull the camera back as far as possible to make the most out of my view. I also like to check the corners to make sure they're clear and there's nothing there, like a little bit of tree or a rock that can sometimes be distracting. When capturing landscapes you want to create a sense of depth by keeping everything in your shot in focus. So unlike in my other photo mode videos where we've adjusted the depth of field, you either want to have this setting turned off or you can set it to a really small aperture like f16 or f22 to keep everything in the shot looking crisp. I also like to look out for leading lines. These are elements within a shot that can help to direct the viewer's eyes to a certain area of your landscape. These can be elements like trails, rivers, bridges, or anything that will provide a pathing to help the viewer put themselves in the shot. Once you grasp this concept, you'll be seeing leading lines everywhere in the world. Some of you may have used the grid function to help line up your shots, but you can also use the grid for the rule of thirds technique. This is a compositional technique which divides the shot into nine equal parts using horizontal and vertical lines, which will help you place your subject, like a specific tree or building, in the left third, the centre third or the right third. Some shots may look better with your focal point in the centre square, but if you place your main subject off-centre and on an intersection, which is where the lines join to make a cross, it creates a point of interest and is more pleasing to look at. Speaking of subjects, feel free to add characters or machines to your landscape shots. Even though most of the time landscapes are focused on the scenery, that doesn't mean characters can't be added to them. Adding a character can create an extra element to your shot if done well. If you want to capture movement in a landscape like Aloy running or on a mount, you can use the weapon wheel to slow down the game and pinpoint the exact position you'd like. The last thing I like to do is cycle through the filters and adjust the intensity, brightness and overexposure to see if they can add anything to the shot. Some filters can make the clouds stand out more, some can brighten up the shot and some can create an eerie mood. Let's take a look at some of the other landscapes that I've captured recently.
I hope these tips for capturing landscapes in Horizon were helpful to you and I'd love to see what you guys are able to capture. So feel free to tag me on social media or post them in the VP section of my Discord. All the links will be in the description. If this was helpful, let me know by leaving a like, subscribe for all things Horizon, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thank you.